Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're discussing the Bulgari Asioma Chronograph. You can see this Bulgari Asioma Chronograph and purchase it on our website. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. You can also click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch, with additional high-resolution images, accessories included, and naturally complete pricing details. On my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the Bulgari Asioma Chronograph is almost almost a sort of architectural effort transposed onto the wrist. Now, 38 millimeters across the case, the flanking portions of the watch are designed to evoke suspension bridges or traditional Roman arches in keeping with Bulgari's Italian heritage. The watch is also remarkably thin in spite of the sheer appearance of its flank. It's 13.5 millimeters thick, which is far less than appearances would suggest, and it will actually slip underneath many dress cuffs, and especially the sleeves of blazers or sport jackets. Now, from lug to lug, the watch is reasonably compact, far less broad than its almost ethereal span suggests, 47.5 millimeters from lug to lug. Although the watch does appear to span the wrist like a bridge, it's actually quite compact from extremity to extremity. Now, on the wrist, it has a nice cushion-type profile. Eyes closed, you would swear that this is a cushion-profile sports watch because it does have a broad, more or less evenly shaped flat case back. It spreads its mass well with no pressure points or hot spots. Now, it's also paired with a feature that I happen to love, which is a full width strap. Oftentimes, broad watches are fitted to ill suited, excessively narrow straps, and they have a tendency to want to torque side to side on the wrist. Because Bulgari equips the Asioma chronograph with a generously bolstered, broad, and very substantial alligator leather black strap, it's absolutely secure on the wrist. And I would say that although my wrist is 16 centimeters, you would be able to wear this watch securely with a sense of proportion and style down to about 14 and a half centimeters in circumference. Now you can see that although the strap effectively closes the gap with the flank of the case, nevertheless it's not pinned against the flank of the case, so you can pull it down around the tight curve of a smaller wrist like mine, and each end of the strap is fixed by a screw with threaded lugs. It's the more expensive way to make a case, and it's the more secure way to fit a watch to a strap, so Bulgari spared no expense there. And the watch is fitted to a Nicely finished Bulgari double deployant clasp. Double deployant means there isn't the one big up and over fold that can pinch a smaller wrist. So while this is a large and bold timepiece, everything from the case to the strap flexibility to the clasp itself is designed to be compatible with a smaller wrist. Now the Asioma line emerged from Bulgari's workshops in 2005, and the idea was to build a watch inspired completely by architecture, specifically arcs in architecture. And you can see the watch has the appearance of a Roman arch or the span of a suspension bridge. Everything about the watch appears to be in tension. The tension of the arcs defining the vertical of the case, the tension of the 12 and the 6 flanks of the case. Everything seems to be vaulted. Everything seems to be almost up in the air between the ground and the sky, and that's the idea that Bulgari wants to convey with the styling of this watch. Now, Bulgari is best known as a jeweler, so styling is the strongest suit of this watch, and that continues on the dial itself, which makes effective use of textures. There is a sunburst from the center outboard, and it's interrupted by a broken plane, which is to say the sunken minutes track that runs beneath the hour indices themselves. Now, the sunken minutes track features hash marks so you can precisely track chronograph seconds and minutes, and each of the applied hour indices, as well as the Arabic 12 at 12 o'clock, features its own special ribbing for texture. So there's nothing on this dial that doesn't feature an intriguing texture that rewards repeat viewing. Again, well-designed. Design is Bulgari's strong suit. But that's not to say the watch isn't mechanically accomplished. Underneath the solid case back is an ETA 2892 modular chronograph, and that is to say it features a vertical clutch chronograph mechanism on top of a bi-directional winding 21 joule ETA 2892 base movement. It has a 42 hour power reserve and it retains all of the fundamental strengths of the ETA base caliber including hacking seconds. So when you pull the crown, you do stop the balance, you allow precise synchronization to a known accurate reference time. The watch also allows rapid adjustment of the date using a quick set mechanism. Now it does not have a screw down crown, but because it does have a vertical clutch, the watch allows you to 
leave the chrono graph engaged continuously so that even if you like to see seconds at center, you can leave the chronograph running with no hazard to the movement. Unlike a lateral clutch, there's no additional wear and tear. The watch is 3 ATM water resistant, so this is a sporty watch, not a dive watch. This is one to wear high and dry, but with immense style. You can see this crossover design blending architecture and horology, and buy it on our website.